dear friends! Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 feel good attainable goals for 2018. Number one is to stay on top of communications and become better at managing people's expectations. Just having on reply to or on read email in your inbox can really bring up a lot of frustration. On one hand, you don't want to spend all of your time replying to other people's requests while having no time for your own goals and your creative projects. On the other hand, you don't want to really make people frustrated because if you're in a professional setting, there are going to be expectations. According to a Boomerang survey, 50% of the participants reply within two hours. 70% of people expect an answer within four hours. I came up with three tips that's going to help me hopefully also help you to take the pressure off, reduce the stress level, and also make sure you have enough time and mental focus to stay on track with the creative projects and all of those high impact things that you need to do to move your goal forward. Number one is to set expectations for others using email. For a lot of us, what happens with the read but not reply to email is because the request actually takes time. Instead of having the request unanswered and sitting in your inbox, I plan to have a standardized response to let them know we received the request and this is going to take time for us to give them a full response. This way, the sender will feel heard and you are also honoring your own priorities. Number two is build boundaries. This is so important, especially if you are in a career kind of position or you are your own boss. For me, in the next year, I'm going to do a nine to nine rule. This means I'm not going to be sending emails or replying to emails from 9 p.m. at night to 9 a.m. in the morning. Set up the time for yourself to fully unplug and recharge so you can really take on the day and giving the day your 100%. My third tip is to give myself the freedom to say no. As a business owner, I have promotional requests that sometimes I find is not a good fit for for me and it's not good a fit for the other person as well. So instead of trying to um, protect their feelings in a way, trying to come up with an elaborate response and explaining to them why it's not a good fit to work together, next year I'm going to, actually this year, I'm going to allow myself the freedom to just not reply to those emails because this way, I'm going to allow the sender time to really go after the partnership that's really going to benefit them and grow their business as well. I'm inspired by two books by Marie Kondo. One is Spark Joy and the other one is the life-changing art or magic of cleaning up. Instead of holding on to things that might not be fitting for my current lifestyle or taste, I'm going to re-give those things to people in need. Making memories the priority instead of putting uh, an emphasis on tangible physical gifts. Number three is creating emotional boundaries. It's very hard to deal with the disappointment of not having the support from the people who matter the most to me. I'm going to set some healthy boundaries so I can still keep my family in my life but not having to face the situations where they are going to not respect my beliefs and try to change my mind on certain topics. Number four is to try something I'm scared of. In the past year, I relearned how to skate and this year I'm going to learn how to paddleboard. My goal number five is to keep adding on to my recipe collection, Sweet and Savory House. I have so many great ideas lined up and I can't wait to share them with you. As a challenge to myself, I'm going to 
keep trying out new healthy ingredients and keep you posted. I always tell my clients before they start working with me that they're going to go on this amazing journey and embracing so many different options and they will never feel that they are restricted in any way or they're going on any type of diet. I want to invite you to join me on this five day challenge. I want to show you how amazing you can feel when you incorporate these five easy tips into your daily routine. This is going to be a completely free challenge. I'm going to be doing this myself and how to sign up is in the description link below. Take care guys. I hope you have the most amazing 2018 and I will see you soon. Kombucha cheers.